So I tell her, you gotta wash up, you grubby bitch. Then I was able to watch the rest of the game. You're all like a fucking regular Casanova, Tommy. Yeah, I'm a true romantic at heart. Did I hear romantic? Holy fuck balls! Name's Judy. I'm the new call girl around here. And I get that reaction a lot. I nearly pissed myself, lady. Judy. Call me Judy. If you say so. Anyway, I'm looking for some new clientele. Have you tried the zoo? Don't make me come over there and spank you, sexy. I'll <laughs> shut my mouth completely if you promise not to come over here. That would be a feat. You're really scared, aren't you, Tommy? You almost pissed yourself. I just crapped my pants. Hey, what I lack in looks, I make up for in some sick shit. Twisted sexual shit. Like what? Why would you ask that, John? Seriously. Just making conversation. Ever have a double bubble? Hubba bubba, backward blowjob? Nope. I can suck your cock backward through your asshole. I have seen a lot of sick shit in my day, but that, my fair lady, is the sickest. Oh well, you're lost, sexies. It's a religious experience. Tell you what, I can introduce you to my retarded cousin Marvin. He's a Yankee fan. He'll fucking do anything. Sounds good, sexies. I'll be out front. <laughs> that was fucking freaky. Speaking of religions, so how you feel about religion there, Johnny? Oh, uh, you know my story. Molested choir boy and our father of the diddled Catholic. But it made me the drunken son of a bitch I am today. I was watching this pay-per-view last night. The one with the hot midget chick who fuck bangs 20 guys? No, uh, but tell me about that later. It was the ultimate fighting thing. Oh yeah, that's wicked cool. So it got me thinking. That's a shocker. We have all these religious freaks saying theirs is the right way to go. And they cry the fucking blues in this politically correct existence if you step in their fucking feet. That's why I just sleep and drink. Political correctness scares the left nut off of me, Tommy. How about the ultimate religious fight? I don't want to hear that religious schlock. Not a problem. No. I'm talking you take the leaders from these fucking religions and have them beat the ever-living shit out of each other. Winner takes all for a year. So if the Pope wins, for example, Christmas can be celebrated everywhere. No hitches. No griping. No bitching. No political correct bullshit. That could be scary, Tommy. How's that? Well, I'd say the Pope comes in the first round and he beats the ever-living shit out of a couple of door knockers. Jehovah Witnesses? Yep, he stabs them in the eyes with his big fucking hat and then moves on to the next round. And the next round he faces this scrawny Satanist. This fucker hasn't seen a light of day in so fucking long he blinds him with a mag light. And then he goes Roman Catholic on his ass. Is he bleeding all over? Cause that'd be fabulous. Sure. Well then he gets to the round with the Dalai Lama. And Mr. Lama refuses to fight. Even though he could probably kung fu the Pope's ass. So out of respect, the Pope doesn't fight either. He brings in some of his henchmen. Priests? Yeah, they ass rape the Dalai Lama until he gives up. And our next round, he faces some of those Scientology people. He reads them some science fiction and puts them to sleep. Then, in the final round, he faces one of those, uh, how do you say pussy in the Middle East? Al-Qaeda? Not really a religion, per se. But go ahead. Yeah. This fucking guy is waiting in the ring with his strap-on dildo bomb. He blows everybody up. And we have to celebrate these dirty Arabs fucking dirt holidays, which I believe are just about not having fun, sitting in caves, ass fucking each other, and you don't even get to drink. You know, after all these years, you got me. Yeah. Seriously, Tommy. You're going to hell, you know that, right? Unfortunately, my friend, I do. Nickel blowjobs. Nickel blowjobs right here.